Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm an interventional radiologist in New Jersey, recently from New York City. So on today's video, you probably know by the title, which is why you clicked on this video, I wanna talk about what motivates me and how I stay motivated. So many people ask me on a daily basis how I am a full-time interventional radiologist physician working in the hospital, taking call, how I also crank out two videos or more every single week for three years now, how I have time to go to the gym still, how I travel like I do, and how I'm a husband. I have a lot going on, but like, honestly, it doesn't really feel like that much is going on. I don't have a lot of free time, but what would I do with all this free time? Watch TV? That's boring. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll tell you everything you need to know about how I stay motivated and maybe it'll help you as well. Let's go. So how do I stay motivated? Well, the truth is I just love money. I'm a greedy, greedy, greedy doctor who just loves money. I was trying to be straight. Obviously that's not the case. That's not even remotely why I do what I do. I'm not motivated by money, but so many people on the internet seem to think otherwise. Like, oh, if you're a doctor and you're on YouTube, you're probably just money hungry, blah, blah, blah. You're probably a terrible doctor, whatever. Don't listen to those people. That's not why we do what we do. I don't know why anybody would be a physician for money because you have to basically go through 14 years of hell to even get to where I am now. And then once you're here, you have to pay off student loans. So this is not a get rich quick scheme. I can assure you that, speaking from experience. So some of you may not really know kind of my background or where I come from because I think a lot of people see me on this platform and see that I'm a physician and automatically assume that I come from some wealthy family and I just kind of pranced into this being a physician physician role and all this stuff, but that couldn't be further from the truth. So I'd give you a little background about my life. So I actually grew up in a small town in Georgia. I come from very humble beginnings. My mother was a stay-at-home mom for most of my life. She went back to school when I was in my teen years and became a teacher. She teaches eighth grade science and math, I believe now still. Mom, sorry if I got that wrong. My father was a salesman. He was a chef and he had multiple restaurants as well growing up. Honestly, we didn't really have that much. Like we had clothes, we were always fed, but other than that, that we didn't really have much extra. So for us, we had a family of five. We never really went on vacation. If we did go on vacation, it would be to like Florida or something, which is great. I'm not knocking that. That's all we could afford at the time. But I knew kind of later in my life after seeing some of my other friends whose parents were like super successful, I just wanted to be able to be like them. I think my brothers kind of feel the same way and that maybe why we all three are doctors, I don't know, but we just have a different work ethic than some. I guess because we didn't really come from any Thing. And in order to get to that next level of success, however you define success, you need to work a little extra harder because nothing's going to be handed to you. I think I've always kind of been working hard my entire life. I mean, even in high school, I was working starting probably at like 15. I was lifeguarding. And then once I turned 18, we were allowed to bartend. I bartended and also coached swimming before I started college. And then I got a college scholarship for swimming at the University of Georgia. But even then, I still had to work, pay for my life because my my parents weren't giving any money. They couldn't afford it. So I was a full-time NCAA Division I swimmer on scholarship. I think they paid for like 80% of my school tuition and everything, and I had to cover the rest of the 20%, but that didn't include housing. So I had to basically pay my rent every month. And my parents didn't give me any money, so I had no choice, but I had to get a job. Even while going to school, even while being an NCAA Division I athlete, occupying all my time, what little time I had left, I used to work as a bartender because what better time to work than from the hours of 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. That's the only, <laughs> those are the only hours left in my day. And I could work, you know, two or three times a week and cover enough for my rent. I'd make like $200 a night. And <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh, but back in the early 2000s, my rent at the University of Georgia, I think was like $385. So two shifts, I could cover my rent. And that was it. Was I tired all the time? 100%. Did it affect my performance? Probably, but I had no choice and you just kind of do whatever you have to do. I think what I'm trying to get at is I'm just kind of like used to working hard and not just being lazy. So ultimately there's one motivating factor that keeps me going all the time. And that one thing that motivates me every single day is results. Because once you see results, you want to keep striving to reach higher and higher. You just keep going. It like fuels you. I don't know what it is. It just gives you some energy to just work harder and do better and be better and become more successful. Again, whatever success is defined by you. But I will say the hardest thing to do is wait and be patient 
patient until you get results. So I kind of break everything I said at the beginning of this video and say how I'm motivated in each of those sections. So for instance, the gym, this is like the hardest part, right? Staying on a consistent workout schedule, eating healthy, all that stuff. It's like the hardest thing ever. But again, it all comes down to results. I've always worked out my entire life. Like I said, I was an athlete and I've always stayed fit, always working out a couple times a week as much as I can throughout my entire life. And the past year during the pandemic, that kind of slowed down. And that was the first time in my life where I wasn't working out on a very regimented, consistent basis. And like almost everybody during the pandemic, I gained a few LBs, if you know what I mean. So I probably gained like five or 10 pounds, wasn't happy about it. And I couldn't really do anything because I couldn't go to my gym. And like you saw in my previous video, 4.30 a.m. routine here, I like to get in and just hammer out a workout and sweat. If I don't sweat, I don't feel like I accomplish anything. And I like specific workouts. So without being able to do that for the pandemic times, it really put a wrench in my plans. One sec. I really wish Topo Chico would sponsor me. It would save me a lot of money. Anyways, so for me, this is a very recent thing now. You know, I was eating poorly, wasn't working out during the whole pandemic, and then all of a sudden I came to New Jersey and I was like, all right, let's turn over a new leaf here. It's time to really get the pump back on, you know? So I joined that gym and have been crushing it. Absolutely love it. I feel so much better. And I've actually gotten a lot slimmer in the last month or so. Once you see results, you just wanna push it harder and harder and harder, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm results driven and most people are. It's like human nature. So let's talk about being a physician. What motivates me in being a physician? Well, I finished all my training, which is good. And now here I am. I should be like on this uphill ride and now I've made it and you should just plateau out, right? Wrong. Because again, I'm motivated by results. So you're like, what kind of results do you see in medicine? Well, funny you should ask. I have trained and I've learned a specific set of skills that allows me to help people and save their lives a lot of the time. So when I see my skills that I've acquired over my time of training that I've spent all these years doing and apply them to a patient who does extremely well with one of my procedures or the skills I've learned. That is all the motivation in the world. Being a physician is a very thankless job a lot of the times, but it only takes that one person to thank you to like keep you going for like two years. So I probably do, I don't know, out of like hundreds of procedures, nobody really says thank you, but there's always that one person who you do like the simplest thing for and they love you, they thank you, they hug you, and they're the happiest people in the world and that's what kind of keeps you going. Again, humans are results driven, so when you see results, you just wanna push harder and do better. So when I help a patient out and they're very thankful for it, I just wanna do better, I wanna do it for more people. It's like a high. It is a high. You feel like a sense of euphoria because you don't really get thanked by a lot of patients, but when they do, it means the world. Trust me. I'll give you an example. I was doing a floor procedure on a patient the other day and they have had concerns for this issue. I can't really talk about because of HIPAA, but they've had this concern for this issue for like a year now. And I think they said they went to 10 different doctors and they all said they were crazy, but then I diagnosed them with exactly what they thought they had. And they were the most thankful people for me showing them that they're not crazy. They're like, oh my God, I'm not crazy. They're like, can I give you a hug, please? I'm like, sure. That kind of motivates you and keeps you going. That's just part of it. Those who are in medicine know exactly what I'm talking about. So what about YouTube life? What motivates me in YouTube? I don't know. I think it's kind of like a creative outlet. I started out trying to just see if I could do it. And slowly, slowly, I mean, we're talking over like a year's time here. I finally built up an audience and people started watching it and people liked my content. So I kept creating more and then you get a taste of results, you get the ad revenue, and then you get people loving your content and you see both of them rising and you don't wanna let yourself down A because you're doing well on your platform and doing well financially and all that stuff. But also a lot of people enjoy your content. So you don't just wanna stop it immediately. You wanna like keep it going. And then the more you keep it going, the more results you see. And and I don't know, it's fun. But YouTube for me has always been a creative outlet. It's never been like work. It's not work for me to sit down here and give my advice and tell people about the side of medicine that they normally don't see. It's it's fun for me, it's cathartic, it's cool. I get to be creative and do my own videos in my own way. And it's just something outside of my normal job. And it makes you more independent because you're not relying on one thing. You now have two options. So I always say, never have just one job, always have two jobs. So in case something happens, you still have the other to fall back on. I love YouTube, love it all. You all seem to like it too. So I'll stop blabbering and get on to the next thing. So financially, what motivates me is when you start doing well in your career, you have other income that you can actually expand and 
invest into other assets and in different financial avenues. And what motivates me is results. So if you invest in an ETF or a stock and you see it doing well, you just wanna save up more money and put in that stock again so it does better. You're, you're motivated by results. Obviously, if you're making more money, you are more motivated to make more money, if that makes sense. I always used to ask myself when I was younger, I was like, why does Bill Gates, why does Warren Buffett, why does Elon Musk, why do they continue to work when they're 100 billionaires? Like, why? What is the point of that? But then I realized, this is pretty recently actually, because you get a little taste of a little success. And you're like, oh, I see exactly why they keep working because they're motivated by results and they just wanna see how far they can take it. They don't wanna relax. It's euphoric to do well and then do even better. You just have to keep going. And for that reason, they don't wanna stop because it's like a game to them. <laughs> I, don't know. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. But the summary of this video is that everybody is results driven and everybody just wants to do well. And when you see results happen, you wanna do even better. You just keep chasing, you keep working hard and you keep going. That's what I do. Maybe some of y'all do it as well. Comment below how you stay motivated, what motivates you. Hopefully you guys liked this video. I wasn't rambling too much. This is what motivates me, results. Results in every avenue of my life keeps me going. So on that note, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers.